Welcome back. Uh, on today's backyard remediation, we're going to be working on the misting system. And then I built this box out of three quarter inch plywood. Let's go up here and take a look. Uh, so here's my box. I've got an outlet back there, which is controlled by a timer switch just inside, uh, which is nice because I have a control right on the other side of this wall. Uh, it's a timer, so I can set it for how long I want it to run, and it'll just run. You don't have to worry about turning it off uh, and accidentally wasting a bunch of water. So the main thing I want to talk about in this video is actually soundproofing. Because this pump is going to be right in the area where uh, people will be out here, it can get kind of noisy. Uh, these pumps can be loud, and I wanted to minimize that as much as possible. All right, so the first thing that we need to understand when we're talking about sound deadening is what sound waves are. Uh, sound waves are just pressure waves that move through some medium, typically a fluid, so it move through air, or it could move through water, or something like that. And those uh, sound waves or pressure waves behave differently depending on the medium it's passing through. So there's two types of materials that you might want to use. One would be a material that actually blocks sound waves. So when you want something that doesn't let sound waves pass through it, you want to look for a material that's very dense. And the reason for that is the more dense a material, the less it will propagate any type of uh, wave that is trying to go through it. So an analogy for this would be, you know, if you go to the doctor and you need an x-ray or something like that, uh, in order to uh, block x-rays, they use lead, which is a uh, very heavy very dense, and so that's something that will block those x-rays. So for sound waves, same kind of thing, we want something dense. Uh, this is 3 quarter inch ply. This does a pretty good job at blocking sound waves, but there's a material that's even better than this, and you can see it here in this middle layer uh, of one of these doors that I'm going to put on the front of that cabinet. This is something called mass-loaded vinyl, or MLV. This is just a vinyl product that's very heavy, so it's very dense. This is used uh, in a lot of uh, sound control applications. You can put it up on walls uh, to prevent sound waves from passing through. So this is a common product that's used. This is one pound uh, mass loaded vinyl, so I think that means it's one pound per square foot. So it, it can be quite heavy. Um, it can be a little expensive, um, but for a box this size, for this kind of application, it's not too bad because it's you know relatively small area. Totally. All right, we've talked about blocking sound. Now let's talk for a second about sound dampening, which is what we're doing with the soft material on the outer layer. A lot of times you'll see this sold online. They sell it in different shapes, but it's like the egg carton kind of foam, or sometimes it's pyramids, or it can be wedges. Um, but they're all kind of trying to do the same thing. Um, some to better effect than others. But basically what you need to understand is this does a good job at dampening the sound. So what do I mean by that? So you can hear it kind of rings. So if you put your finger on it, this does a good job at dampening uh, the glass so it's not going to ring for as long. And so what that foam is doing, it's doing the same kind of thing. So uh, if you were to have some sort of sound inside that box, the sound waves are going to be bouncing back and forth off all the walls. And what you're doing is you're decreasing the total amount of time that those sound waves are bouncing around. It, it decreases that time. If you've ever been in a room, uh, an empty room with you know hard walls, hard ceiling, hard floors, you've probably noticed that there's a lot of echo if you're having a conversation. And then if you were in that exact same room, furniture, say some carpet down, and then you have the same conversation, it doesn't echo as much. That's because uh, all these soft materials are acting as extra, extra surfaces to dampen that sound. So it's reducing the amount of echo because the sound waves aren't bouncing back and forth on those hard materials as readily. This is something that the Grinch understands very well. I'm an idiot! And then the last thing that's worth mentioning is the enclosure is going to do much, much better if, if it's airtight. Um, so with any sort of holes or cracks, 
that's a gap where air can enter or leave the box. And so that's a place for the sound to escape. Uh, for this box, I can't really make it airtight because I have to have multiple holes. There has to be somewhere for the water to come in, water to go out. I have to have large access doors so that I can pull the pump out when it needs to be serviced. So it's not gonna be perfect, um, but I do think that with some of, but I do think that with that extra layer of mass loaded vinyl and then that soft material on top, it's gonna be much quieter than it would otherwise be.